Now, Asian nations can have a big impact on global commodity prices. The cost of cotton, for instance, has risen on news that India imposed an immediate ban on all cotton exports. It's thought the country made the decision to ensure there are enough supplies of the fibre for the country's textiles producers. Rajani Vadyanathan has more from Mumbai. India is the world's second largest producer of cotton. Most of its exports have gone to its neighbour, China. More than 9.4 million bales have already been sold overseas in the first few months of this year, far higher than projected. But now all cotton exports from here have been stopped. In a statement, the country's directorate of foreign trade said there'd be no more international sales of the fibre until further notice. It's welcome news for India's textiles industry, which is the country's second largest employer. Producers have been concerned that large volumes of cotton were being sent abroad, making it harder and more costly for them to get supplies and meet demand. It's thought the move will bring down the price of cotton in India, but overseas it's gone up following the news of the ban. Other countries, including Bangladesh, have expressed concern that the move could hurt the global garment industry. Rajini Vardhanavan, BBC News, Mumbai. Let's get more on this now from Ogan Kos. He's the partner for the management consultancy firm Essentia. He leads the firm's global commodity business. Now, welcome uh, to the show. As we saw there in that report, uh, uh, the Indian cotton ban uh, just goes to show how volatile prices can be in the commodity sector. So do you see uh, a lot of this volatility continuing? Absolutely. The volatility, well, the market, the commodity players are adjusted to, especially in the cotton markets, the volatility. They've seen the highs and lows in the past 18 months. Uh, from that perspective, it's not a big news story, uh, but soft commodities are typically in the past five years have been much more volatile compared to energy commodities. That means actually there is money to be made, uh, good news for producers given the expectation in terms of price spikes, uh, but if you're a downstream player, you better be good at trading. Now, it's interesting because you talk of the volatility there we saw in the cotton markets, but of course, palm oil prices have, have as well. They've soared some 7% in February alone. Uh, part of this over concerns uh, over crude oil prices uh, as well. You saw the uh, soy oil prices being impacted by a drought in South America. So, so you know, wh what are you, what's your outlook for palm oil specifically? So the current demand outstrips supply, uh, and then the cooking oil demand uh, actually is quite high, coming from India primarily. Um, I would have said actually, I would have agreed with the market expectations that the palm oil prices would, could go up for another 10% in the next two or three months. However, when we think about the recent GDP growth numbers coming from Australia and China especially, um, well, that is going to have an impact on the crude prices, which is highly correlated to the palm oil prices as well. Mm -hmm. Even though the market hasn't fully priced in the uncertainty, geopolitical uncertainty on the crude prices yet, uh, while well, the lower demand uh, numbers coming from China is going to balance that and then you might actually see a little bit stabilization in the second half of this year on the palm oil prices but in the short term we do expect a price increase. That's right you mentioned Australia there Brazil is the other economy that saw a uh, softer uh, growth as well so is there a concern now that China's uh, potential reduced demand for the, these resource uh, economies will mean uh, resource stocks will see a decline this year? It is going to impact primarily energy commodities metals and mining so there is we're going to see a significant impact there less so on the food side less so on the soft commodity side because the demand for food regardless of whether the GDP expectation right. is growth expectation is right. nine percent versus seven okay. and a half percent doesn't change much. all right we'll have to leave it there unfortunately organ cost there from Accenture thank you so thank much you. for that and that's it for this edition of Asia Business Report thanks for watching